The question says that the dry cleaning fluid is a factor of production. And then it says there's a decrease in the cost of it. So there's a decrease in the cost of a factor of production, which means there's a decrease in marginal cost of producing this. And the question is asking for the change in producer surplus and consumer surplus. So obviously, we need the demand and supply diagram. So this is our supply, this is our demand. We first need to highlight the producer surplus. So this is the actual price that the firms are charging. And the supply curve is the least price that the firms are willing to charge in order to sell this many units. So the difference or the extra profit that they get by charging a higher price is called the producer surplus. Basically everything above the supply and below the price. Similarly, this is our price. Everything below the demand above our price is called consumer surplus. This is because the price P is the actual price that the consumers are paying and demand is the maximum price that they are willing to pay to get this many goods. So the difference or the extra benefit they get because the firms are charging a lower price is called the consumer surplus. Then we use the only piece of information the classroom provides. There is a decrease in marginal cost and we know that marginal cost and supply is the same thing. So when there is a decrease in marginal cost, there is a decrease or downward shift of supply. We call this an increase in supply because increase in supply means a shift to the right of the supply curve, but they mean the same thing. So when this happens, we get a new producer surplus. This is our new price, which we call P prime. And everything between price and, I mean, below price and above supply is called the producer surplus. And comparing these two triangles, PS prime is larger than PS. So basically, there is an increase in producer surplus. Similarly, we draw the same decrease in marginal cost and we draw the same consumer surplus, which this is the new price. This highlighted red part is the new consumer surplus. And obviously, consumer surplus increased as well. That's why there's an increase in producer surplus and there's an increase in consumer surplus.